In the last few years, researchers and archaeologists have made some incredible discoveries. These have helped us to better understand the state of our world and where we seem to be going. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at five recent discoveries. The Mysteries of Enceladus Humans have managed to accomplish a lot in a relatively short amount of time. We already sent humans to live in space and we've developed massive and very sophisticated telescopes. Now space agencies are looking at sending people to Mars and this could happen within the next few years. Many organizations decided to take it a step further. The European Space Agency, the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence and NASA have been working very hard to find out if we are completely alone. Today, we have a big number of projects that are made to scan the stars for signs of intelligent life. Something researchers are intrigued by is Saturn's moon Enceladus. It's been put forward that this moon may be able to support life. This claim comes after researchers suggest that its ocean is over 1 billion years old, further saying that this is a sweet spot. NASA reported at the 2019 Astrobiology Science Conference that the time frame is long enough for there to be life. One of the research scientists said the following, In the scenario that best matches the real moons, the ocean of Enceladus is about a billion years old. That's good news for life. It should have had enough time to arise and there should still be some energy to power it. Cassini was a spacecraft who arrived in the Saturn system back in 2001. It made 127 flybys of Titan and 23 flybys of Enceladus. The Cassini mission ended on September 15, 2017, due to loss of contact. After making these flybys though, Cassini gave researchers an incredible insight into how the moon is doing. It's not the airless icy body as it was previously assumed. The detection of the thermal infrared and the four tiger stripe fractures mean that Enceladus heats up from the inside out. It's believed the friction caused by the gravitational forces of Saturn have been affecting the heating of Enceladus. On our planet, hydrothermal vents are filled with organisms we cannot see anywhere else, with some scientists saying there are whole worlds in these vents that many of us have never seen before. This could be what's happening on Enceladus. Researchers have said there is evidence of hydrothermal vents on the seafloor of Enceladus. Hydrothermal vents usually form at locations where magma and seawater meet. Water runs down the cracks right into the core, where it is heated and then comes back out again. Just like Europa, Enceladus is also believed to have a global ocean found under the icy surface. All of the data collected related to Enceladus points out at the fact that it really does have the three ingredients required for life. It seems that scientists are one step closer to finding life in our very own solar system. Our solar system is tiny when compared to the rest of the universe and it makes you wonder what else could be out there. Daily UFO Sightings Ever since the establishment of the privately funded organization known as the Mutual Unidentified Flying Object Network, there has been complete and total transparency when it comes to the gathered statistics and information regarding witness reports and extraterrestrial activity. This has allowed UFO researchers and those interested in alien activity a plethora of information pertaining to the subject and to make connections otherwise impossible to notice without treating the overall statistics as a piece to a bigger picture. Interestingly enough, this has also painted a much clearer image of UFO witness reports in general and has allowed us to find out how many annual witness reports of UFO activity are made by the general public all around the world. According to gathered reports and statistics, more than 6,000 reports have been made annually throughout the region that includes multiple witness testimonies and evidence per report. This means that on average we experience roughly 16 sightings of unidentified flying objects every single day. These reports can vary from something as simple as a strange unexplained light in the sky to a full-fledged sighting of an extraterrestrial and alien abduction. Putting this into perspective, this is more than a 5,000 report increase since first reports were gathered back in the early 1970s that claim annual reports were as low as 700. This has led to the gathering of an extraordinary amount of evidence pertaining to the UFO phenomenon 
with thousands of new photos, videos and witness reports surfacing every single day. Keep in mind that these numbers are only that of reports that have been followed up and reported to the National UFO Reporting Centre and the MUFON organisation, which means that there could be an overwhelming amount of evidence and reports not yet shared by the general public in fear of being ridiculed or chastised by their peers. Our planet is eating its own oceans. As ocean levels have continued to rise, it appears that our ocean is finding new and interesting ways to combat the waters accumulating on the surface and the amount of pressure it is adding to the seafloor below. In a recent study, scientists have found that the rising ocean levels from melted ice and glaciers along with water naturally expanding due to the climate change and the introduction of greenhouse gases causing heat to stay trapped in the planet has been causing the water pressure to tremendously increase down at the seafloor, which has caused enough added stress to not only push the ocean floor down an extra 2 mm in the past two decades, but that this force has opened up shifting tectonic plates at the bottom of the deepest parts of the ocean. This has caused areas, such as the Mariana Trench, to cause a tremendous amount of seismic activity in the deepest parts of its subduction zone between the Pacific Tectonic Plate and the Philippine Tectonic Plate. These subsurface rumblings have allowed researchers to calculate how much water of the Earth's oceans is being sucked down into the subduction zone in the planet's attempt at keeping up with the rising sea levels, of which researchers have calculated to be three times more than they ever expected to be naturally possible. According to the experts, more than eight non-nillion gallons of water are being sucked up by the bottomless pit of the Mariana Trench every million years. That's an eight with three zeros after it. It is expected to possibly increase in the coming years. However, even with this introduction of our planet eating its own oceans, it still won't be able to keep up with the natural rising of the ocean levels over the next few decades. Waterfalls of Red in Antarctica Definitely viewed as one of the most peculiar natural phenomenons from around the world is that of the waterfalls of red located in the Antarctic tundra. When a cruise ship passed by a remote location showing off the incredible size of the glaciers located off of the coast of Antarctica, they came across a startling discovery that led to an investigation by research scientists in the area that were at first incredibly puzzled at what they were witnessing. It appeared as if the glaciers were bleeding out a thick red liquid that would spill out into the ocean looking very similar to that of the consistency of blood. This led to the name Blood Falls located in Antarctica, as the site looked as if the Antarctic mountains were bleeding profusely into the nearby snow and ocean waters. When scientists analysed the liquid, they found that it was merely water mixed with a high concentration of a hypersaline body of water trapped beneath a glacier. When the glaciers began to melt, this would release the hypersaline mixture with the fresh water of the snow and oxygen of the atmosphere, which would create a rust-like colour in the water and cause it to thicken into a syrup-like consistency, creating the illusion of millions of gallons of blood pouring into the ocean below. Still, the sight can be seen occurring even to this day as the glaciers continue to slowly melt and can even be scheduled to view on a tourist destination as a part of the Ross Sea cruise line that has made the site one of its main destination points. For those less fortunate, the site is so large and so long-lasting that images from satellites can see this strange occurrence and can be viewed by anyone wishing to see the site for themselves. The Methane Cycle on Mars Only a few years ago, NASA made an incredible discovery in which the initial signs of life on Mars arose for NASA astrobiologists and research scientists back in 2004 and then again later confirmed back during the landing of the Martian probe in 2014. The private space agency originally saw signs of a methane plume ejecting from the surface of Mars and began to quickly theorize its implications as an organic molecule of which only finds natural formation by the creation of a variety of bacteria. After many sleepless nights, engineers of the space agency worked to send a Martian rover with the capability of testing the Martian surface for additional organic molecules. Later in 2014, Martian rover Curiosity began collecting evidence of methane traces in the Martian atmosphere and made a startling discovery. 
The Martian rover found that the methane on Mars grew more concentrated by season in the Martian atmosphere and directly correlated with the Martian seasons overall. This led researchers to believe that this correlation between concentration by season was additional proof to the hypothesis that Mars contains some form of life. Methane is also an organic molecule, and the majority of methane on Earth also correlates with our seasons, as certain bacteria and microbes eject this organic molecule into the atmosphere during summer and autumn seasons, similar to what the data shows in spikes of methane across the Martian atmosphere. Although definitive signs of life have yet to be observed on the Red Planet, the odds of this observation seem to be more and more promising with the passing years, as Curiosity uncovers additional complex organic molecules and continues its drilling processes to locate biosignatures of life. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.